He looks good. The trick, I want to make sure going home. The trick, the pattern that you want to remember, tap on the e-collar, pop on the palm when you're walking. So if he makes an error, you correct for the e-collar, and then the pop of the prom will put him, of course, back where he's supposed to be. So you always want to think tap, pop, tap, pop. And that's the only thing that changes is the intensity. Looks really good. He feels really respectful right now. It's really nice. But when we first tried to come in, the door opened and he started to go in front of me. So I corrected. I tapped and popped, turned around, walked around outside a little bit until I got him tuned in, and then retried, and he did it right. And, we, and then we went through the doors, okay? Good job, buddy. Hello. <laughs> Let's just walk around a little bit more. I thought there'd be more distractions. There's nothing really going on. So we'll try to find a dog or something. At the main entrance. Oh. At the main entrance, it's usually pretty busy. All right, let's go do Or even we'll at the a downstay at Michael's. Yeah, we'll go through multiple stores here today. Let's just keep going. Uh, I don't know if this one will open. We have to go out the oh. side. Yep, over here. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. We can walk over. Yeah. I even know. <laughs> we can walk 10 feet. You're putting somebody through the paces, are you? Yes. You're doing good. Oh, boy. He looks good. Yeah. I like guys like that. Yeah. He knows he's being trained. You know, I always respect people like that. setup I actually set him up to make a little bit of an error to go out in front of me because I felt like he was just a little pushing just a little bit so when your dog does that what you want to do is speed up your pace and then slow down your pace and because you know they're being pushy they end up out in front you correct tap pop put them back try that again and you'll see the boy that he's doing the right thing and then that's called tuning your dog in and now we can go on our way. It's a good dog. about my friend Sully is that he will get out of tune of his command from time to time where he'll be in heel but you'll see him starting to pay attention to things and you'll feel it on the leash that's just a little less reliable because you feel him kind of swaying out of position just enough and then coming back in so you feel a little bit of weight on there all you have to do with that is set up a correction okay set him up so that he makes a mistake and correct him or simply just correct him for the state of mind error and then what you get is you get him committed to you and then he feels great. But if you don't expect that level of commitment, you will not get it. And, and then the standard will be lowered and he'll just be not as tight as he can be. Because he can be really, really, really tight and really, really sharp. Okay? And the more he's expected to be that way, 
the more he just offers it and, and becomes that way, okay? But going home, we gotta make sure we're expecting that for the next three months. Very, very sharp, attentive version of himself. He's a very smart boy, just easily distracted. feels very relaxed and under control. It's very reliable. I think the next step with him would be to walk by some pretty bad things off and see how he does. Alright, well I'll have right back on out and we can really adjust and how to get the word quiet. We'll chill right here by the end. A little downstay. The entrance is a great spot to prove the downstay. Down. 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 I'm just going to let him chill. And hopefully, you know, hopefully he gives us something to work with. If not, he does really good and we just move on. starts to make errors, like say he sees something out in the distance that he really would like to go check out, but he's not because he's in his down, that'll result probably in some whining. Um, if we correct the whining and then it starts back up again, then it's like, okay, put your head down. All right? Now, now you're going to be a hold accountable for a double down. And this really cleans things up. So we use the double down to add even more structure, restrict even more choices from him. Uh, take even more choices away from him and tell him not even to lift his head. So you can use it as punishment. It's almost like a timeout. And it, it gives him the message that that's off limits and that's really clear to him. So he'll learn that as time goes on. Yeah, well, I think that he's doing really good when it comes to people. I'd like to see some dogs. And if we can't get dogs today, we'll go looking for dogs on our next session. Hi. How are you? Good boy, big boy. Yeah. How are you? Oh yeah, he's. Is it service dog? He's in training. Please don't. Okay. Please don't touch him. Oh, don't okay. touch him. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. You're so awfully high. cute. Yes, Isn't he are. gorgeous? Yeah. You are. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Pretty cool. 